In this video, we are going to see the 2015 set 2 paper. Uh, in total, there were six problems. I have taken four problems here in the GATE 2015 set 2 papers on structures. The very first problem was of one mark only, and it was asked to find out the distance of the point of contraflexion from point A. Now, it's a very simple problem, uh, only you have to use basics in this. So, this problem can be simplified like this. A prop can deliver with a moment of 10 into, so this is 0.25. So, this is 2.5 kN meter as the moment applied are in a beam of 0.75 meter span. Now, I can break this into two parts. So, I can break it like a moment plus I can break it like a reaction of RB. So, if this is 2.5, I will be calculating the deflection in both the cases. So, if I calculate deflection, it will be like this and here it will be like this. So, these two deflections should be same because initially the deflection diagram will be like this. So, there will be zero deflection at the end B. Now, so I can use MAT easily here. So, this value is 2.5. So, what is the deflection here? It is 2.5 into 0 0.75 into 0 0.75 by 2. So, and it's obviously upon EI also. So, that gives you 2.5 into 0 0.75 square by 2. That is 0 0.703 upon EI is the deflection due to a moment. And in case of reaction, I am just plotting it the opposite way right now. So, this will be RB into L upon EI. So, here the deflection is 1 by 2, RB into L into L into 2 by 3 of L. So, 2 gets cancelled, you get Rb L cube upon 3 L. This deflection should be equal, right? So, if I cancel EI with EI and uh, this is 3 into 0 .70, 0 0.703, so 3 into 0 0.703 divided by L cube. What is L here? 0 0.75, right? So, divided by 0 0.75 cube. This gives me Rb is equal to almost 5 kN. 4.99 is the answer. I am taking Rb as 5 kN. Now, uh, having understood this, I can just simply I'll plot it here. I have analyzed it for one reaction that is 5 kN and there is a moment of 2.5 kN meter. Now, I can write the bending moment equation at any distance x as 5 into x minus 2.5. So, 5 into x minus 2.5 will be, now I need a point of contraflexion. The point of contraflexion is the point where the bending moment is 0. So, I equate it to 0. From here, I get x as 2.5 by 5, that is 0 0.5 meter. This is from B. So, x is equal to 0 0.25 from A. So, this is your answer. The point of contraflexion will be at x is equal to 0 0.25 from A. So, this completes the second problem, uh, the first problem. I will come to the second problem now. So, this is a rolling load problem. You can refer to the uh, lectures on influence line diagram to, to have a concept of it. It was asked to find the maximum bending stress due to wheel load. That is two wheel loads, 3 kN as space at a distance of 5 meter. Rolling over a simply separate beam of 25, 24 meter. Now, in order to analyze this problem, first you need to see is the CG. Where will be the CG of this? Obviously, it will be at the center, 2.5 meter. Now, if you refer to the video lectures of influence line diagram, it was explained that to divide this CG by 2 and keep it over the beam center. So, this is my simply supported beam and this is my CG of the beam. I am keeping 3 kN here at a distance of, what distance I will keep here, I will keep half of 2.5, that is 1.25. Then my second row, which is here, and this distance will be, uh, so the total distance is 5 minus 1.25, that is 3.75. So this is 3.75, whereas this total distance is 5 meter. Now, how is the IND for bending moment at any section? It is like this, right? And this ordinate is AB by L. I need the ordinate here and here. Now, you can do simple interpolation. I will just put the values here. So, the beam is 24 meter. For me, this is 12 meter from here to here. 
and similarly it's 12 lakh so 12 lakh to 12 divided by 24 gives me 6 here now by interpolation I can find this ordinate as 6 upon 12 so this suppose this is x this is y x upon this total is 12 so 12 minus 3.75 will give you 8.25 and similarly this y will be 6 upon 12 is equal to y upon this total is 12 12 minus 1.25 this time gives you 10.75 so your, your ordinates are 6 by 12 into 10.75 which is y equal to 5.37 and 6 by 12 into 8.25 that is x is equal to 4.125 so your bending moment will be equal to 3 into 5.37 this multiplied by this ordinate plus this multiplied by 4.125 right so 3 into 5.37 plus 3 into 4.125 gives you 28.4 kN meter but this was not asked the question was how to find the bending stress in order to find the bending stress we know f is equal to m by i into y or i can say m by z so your z value was given as 16.2 cm square so I put everything in millimeter and newton 10 plus 6 upon 16.2 into so this should be centimeter cube it's always z is always in centimeter cube so cube uh, 1 centimeter is 10 mm so power cube so 28.4 into 10 plus 6 divided by 16.2 into 10 cube gives you 1753 newton per millimeter square the question was to answer it in GPA so please note these are fill in the blanks questions so you have to keep note of the sign also then in that case the answer will be 1.75 GPA so this is your uh, solution to the problem number 2 and uh, the next problem is quite interesting problem so I will erase this portion to answer the third problem So the next problem said that there is a concrete beam of 10 meter. So this is a simply separate beam of 10 meter which is sagging due to shrinkage. So here goes the concept of RCC in which there are some internal stresses generated in the structure which may be due to shrinkage, creep, relaxation. Though it's a question from RCC but its structural analysis is applied over here. So so for we just understand that because of that shrinkage this beam is sagging so the deflection is like this and that sagging curve is a uniform curvature of 0 0.004 per meter so he is telling that it is a pure bending case in which the curvature is like a semicircular arc so and has a uniform curvature whereas generally um, the normal case is it is not the pure bending case and the curvature is more of a parabola with different uh, values of curvature at each location but here for simplifying the problem he has given a uniform curvature then he is asking the mid span deflection. Now, if you if you know the basics of strength of material, we know EI d2y by dx square as mx. That's the double integration rule, right? From this, I can say d2y by dx square is equal to mx upon EI. Also, from uh, pure bending, m by i is equal to f by y equal to e by r. From here I can say m by ei is equal to 1 by r. What is 1 by r given? It is 0 0.004. So I can write d2y by dx square as so it's 0 0.004. Now if this is given to you, if I integrate it two times, will I get the deflection equation just by the concepts of strength of material? So first integration dy by dx gives me 0.004x plus c1 and y gives me 0.004x square by 2 plus c1x plus c2. Now here if you apply your uh, boundary conditions can I say at x is equal to 0 y will be 0. If I put this y, what I get c2 as 0 right if you put it here. The second equation is x is equal to l y is again 0. In that case I get 0.004 l square by 2 plus c1 l right so what is your uh, value of c1 l gets cancelled if i if i send this there it will be minus 0 
L by 2 is C1, right? So, if I write the equation, it will be y equal to 0 0.004 x square by 2 minus, I substitute this, 0 0.004 L by 2 x, right? So, this is your y equation. I substituted C1 in place of C1, I sub substituted this. Now, where will be the deflection will be maximum? At L by 2. What is L given? It's 10 meters. So, I just substitute 5 meter. I get the deflection as 0 0.004 into 5 square by 2 minus 0 0.004 into 5 by 2. Sorry, into 10 into 5 by 2. So, here you get the answer as 0 0.05. So this is your final answer and it's a good, very good problem and uh, you can you can develop your own problems with this type of concepts but since RCC was involved here and a part of structures was there so I have taken in this portion. Now the last problem which was again from structures was, so uh, there was a beam, the problem was given in words, I have converted into figure format, you can also understand it very easily by making the figure first, so always try to uh, make the figure and then try to attempt the problem. So, it was given that there is a two links AC and CB. There are two links AC and CB which are connected by an internal hinge. So, there is an internal hinge connecting over these two. It was said, it was said that these two are deflecting by a straight line. Like this, they are deflecting. Okay. And they wanted to know that what is the rotation of this support and this support when there is a transverse load acting over the internal edge. So again, it's a very easy problem. To approach this problem, you have to just know the basics of stiffness. What the stiffness is, K is P by delta. Now, since here there is a rotatory spring, I can say K theta is equal to M by theta. Right? If I am saying like this, can I say after that, that at the center, the moment is what? So due to this P, what will be the reaction? P by 2. So at the center it will be P by 2. And one more thing was very important here is this is L and this is L. So the total span of the beam was 2L, not L. So then in that case, this is P by 2 into L. So I, ha I got PL by 2. Now, if I have this, can I say that theta is equal to K, uh, theta is equal to M by K theta? Right? What is my M value here? P L by 2K. Can I write this? K is K theta. Now, if this is your theta, this is your theta at the center. What will be your theta at support? Theta at support will be P L over 2K theta divided by 2. Because the, at this location, your theta will be the combination of theta B and theta L. Right? So I can say like this, so the answer to this will be PL by 4K. So there were options given like PL over K, PL over 4K, like this. So the answer to that problem is PL over 4K. So these are some of the problems on GATE 2015 set 2. In the next video, we will see GATE 2014 problems.